Hello there everyone and welcome back, and tonight I have a somewhat interesting story to tell you. It has recently come to my attention that everyone's favorite delusional narcissist, Gord Kitty, has been trying to get chummy with a pedosperg that me and my community have been after for quite some time now. The very same pedosperg who's been trying to deplatform me constantly off of the social media for the last two months, going from trying desperately to hit me with community guideline strikes, which didn't really work save for one particular video, which was bullshit by the way, two constant privacy complaints where only one actual stream was taken down and another was reinstated. So I suppose that Andrew K and Cord Kitty have a lot in common. Also, yeah, the name Andrew K, yeah, that's not his actual name by any means. Yeah, I thought I would put that information out there. I guess despite the fact that me and Coyote went out of our way to explain to Cord Kitty just before the debate took place that you shouldn't go out of your way to try to, uh, talk to Andrew K because he's a notorious little child predator who has no redeeming qualities whatsoever. I guess that advice just went out the window because apparently Cord Kitty believes that having the enemy of my enemy is my friend strategy every time he has a problem with someone is apparently the optimal strategy to go in every situation. And before anyone asks for proof about that entire conversation, it was actually mentioned more than a couple of times in the Cord Kitty debate, which even Cord himself has acknowledged the existence of that conversation. So, Cord has admitted more than a couple times that yes, me and Coyote went out of our way to tell him what happened and why Andrew is not someone you should associate with and decided to go with Andrew K anyway. So there seems to be a bit of a situation here. We have one angry pedophile that wants to take down and deplatform everyone for having an opinion against him, which also includes going after me, and another angry creeper who wants to go out of his way to do the same thing and try to demean everyone for having a debate in which he lost. So so while I'm having this crazy, spriggy, narcissistic freak freaking out about the stream and debate and trying to act like that it's chill and cool for him to associate with pedophiles, the said pedophile he's defending so much is still trying desperately to nuke me off of the entirety of social media, trying to deplatform me so damn desperately for the past two months. However, that being said, I thought of a very interesting idea, something that I think will kill two birds with one stone here, in more ways than one. Why not post a rather interesting clip about the very situation that started this whole drama in the first place for the last two months. Oh yes, you're getting all of the juicy details from that one stream that Andrew K absolutely does not want you to know about and does not want you to see, which is why he's been trying to take down this entire channel for two straight months. And I figured since a lot of you guys are new to the channel, I understand that oftentimes you may not always have the time to watch the VODs, after all some of them can be clocked into more than a couple of hours, that's understandable. So here's the deal, I'm gonna post this clip that cuts out as much of the unnecessary fluff as possible so that you can get straight into the meat of the video, so that you can see for yourself the confessions of Andrew K and all the things he's admitted to not only saying but doing as well. You get to hear about his crimes, the things he's admitted to, and the fact that through all of it, despite knowing full well the damages he's caused, that he has no remorse for his actions and he will completely do what he's done again, if of course given the opportunity. Before we start however, I would like to say that if you really support the cause then by all means like, subscribe, share, and just put the content out there as much as possible. Feel free to express your own opinions in the comments section down below. The reason for this is pretty simple. Not only does it help my cause and continue to make this show more effective at showing people what criminal activity exists on social media, which is quite numerous by the way, but for every piece of support this channel gets, no matter how small, no matter how big or otherwise, we'll continue to make every single pedophile and weirdo that this channel has ever discussed continue to seethe and mold like no tomorrow. So if that's something you like to do, then by all means feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and share this content around anywhere you can. Any amount of support helps. So here's some context before we delve right in. The stream we'll be bringing to your attention is a stream that happened in early January of this year. It was a stream about a debate about whether or not people like Andrew K are capable of change. As Ronnie Vane, a well-known pedo defender, and someone who has defended other pedophiles that I, and by extension, my other compatriots have been after for years. And as you expect, the whole stream turned out to be a massive fucking shit show for everyone to see. The clip I'm going to show you is at least an hour and ten minutes long, although not ideal in terms of clips, and still very much into the long-formed content category, is still very important. I believe this is the most I can do for now. At least it's better than, you know, forcing you to watch two hours and twenty minutes of nonsense after all. For those who want to dig deeper into the story, by all means, the link to the original stream will be down below.
below in the description, as well as the Bunny Gatherings videos also being posted in the links down below in the description for you to watch yourself as well, as he also digs into a lot of the same territory for he was the one who initially found Andrew K in the first place. So without further ado, let's get down to the meat of the situation. I hope you're ready for the Confessions of Andrew K. Roll the clip. Andrew K, yeah. uh, can you explain to me this? It says how to have a how to access sexual videos of children, and this is like one of your old videos. So yeah, what, what exactly is that about? Uh, because I used to go on one site called X Play, and that's how I used to access the the videos. I just what, usually what, what type of videos are we talking about? Um, do you want me to give some maybe titles of the videos? Uh, just, then that'll... yeah, just a description, whatever works. Uh. Uh, Asian baby sucking dick. Um, Jesus Christ! What, three year what old. The fuck? Okay, okay, so, so, just, so I just want to make it clear. I just want to make it clear that uh, he's calling himself Andrew Christensen. That is not his real name. We actually have his real name. Um, yep, we still haven't done anything about it. Hey, I mean, the ass. cops came, took my stuff away, gave it back, and nothing happened. All right, so uh, Andrew, can, can, can I ask you a question real quick? I'm, I'm going to be real civil with you. I don't want to fight. Okay. Can, can we talk about that. what you, can, can we talk about what you said in the waiting room? Sure. Go okay, ahead. so uh, tell me the story about what uh, uh, the window situation. Just run me through it real quick. I was uh, I was my I don't know my parents were gone, and I was heading upstairs to go to my room, just lie okay. down on the bed, and I saw them out there. So, okay, so, so no, 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 you need to be more specific than that. What did you see outside of your window? Well, just the, uh, the scenery and then the people the, okay. near the cross. And I took, uh, <clears throat> I took a video. Okay. I took a picture. I filtered the video. I muted the video. Okay. Uh, and, and what, 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 what were you focusing on in the video? Was there anything in specific that you were trying to capture on the photo in the video other than the scenery? I was zooming in on the kid. Uh, okay. And you said, you said it was a, a, a girl and her father, you said? Yeah. Okay. And how old, how old would you, just a guesstimate, how old would you say this child was? They moved in at about 2015 to 16. Okay. And they, in 2015 to 16, when they got there, there was no kid. So we could say the kid's under seven. Okay, and I believe in the waiting room, you said you your estimate of the child was about two years old at the time? Well, it could walk and run. We're talking about a toddler. Run. Okay, yeah. Okay. Sure, yeah, maybe. Now, you, you, just, you, do, know, you do know that... Just randomly filming a toddler is not legal. Yeah, no, exactly. I know. Oh, I know. Why, Why would you do, do that? What was the purpose? Well, of... I liked it at the time, you know, because I didn't really care about what what would happen with the law or not. You see, because I didn't think I would get in trouble, and because it took so long that I just kept on going. So and essentially going and going. what you're revealing to me here, and I'm just picking up this vibe because you're absolutely unrepentant for it, is the only reason you feel bad right now and saying you have, feel, have moved past these feelings is because people are calling you out for it. Yeah. More no, more I don't people. think you generally have any sort of remorse. I think you just feel it's, guilty because you're being put on blast. It's very obvious at this point that more and more people are starting to know that videos of uh so you are ch children in the wild we'll say no just 
voyeur photography for the purpose no. of pedophiles. It was meant for that, but one of the videos just so happened to be like that on that site. Okay, well, uh, I'm asking you your personal reason for taking the video. Like, did you take it because you saw the other one and you wanted to add content of that variety to the site? No, I, I, I didn't do anything with it, personally. I, I, I said well, you, up, you, well, no, 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 you said that you, you shared it around with some people. Yeah, so I did. did I did right. Personally, I didn't do anything with it. I sorry, can I just, sorry, can I just jump in here, okay? I Go actually ahead. sent a screenshot to Cass. He posted the, uh, a video called Little Cutie, and this is the incident he's talking about. Basically, he's filming this kid uh, who's playing on her, uh, her Hockey, door right? or something like that. And basically, he posted this on his YouTube channel, okay? So everyone could see this. Everyone. He didn't just send this to a couple of people. Everyone. Thought. So he, he made he made it publicly available. Yes. He I'm also available. presuming with the way you speak and you're kind of just dodging or dodging around saying this. Uh, I would highly assume what you were posting it to was a pedophile website or forum of no. some sort. No, I never said the same website. Okay, then explain the. People Except you he... said a site, and then go. There is a Wait. video similar to that on there. Okay. That's hold on, okay. hold on, hold on, hold on. The go question ahead. I have to ask is: If it wasn't for that intent, explain who and why are the people these people were talking to you about distributing this content in the first place? I don't get that question. Sorry. You gave people some random people you've known at the time, in your own words, this said content you've made. For yourself yes video. correct actually Who i made a deal with andrew people? velasco why what do you mean a deal with andrew velasco i he really wanted the material and i know that it's hard to get i told him that i will go out of my way to get it only if you can promise me that you would do something then i will so send you you specifically made material who for someone assuming what you're into i'm going to assume is also a pedophile and who probably very well took that video and went and did some very disturbing things with it. Would you say that's far-fetched to say? Uh, or would you probably. say that's pretty on point? I don't know. I, I sent it to- Okay, well, can I ask you this? Did you did you just post it to YouTube, or did you post it to other sites? And if you I did post it to, it to other Instagram. sites- Instagram and YouTube. Also, here, here you go, Chet. This is the specific image that they are talking about. It is just the thumbnail with the with the title "Little Cuties Dot Heart." So, okay, let me um, let me ask. So, is it just Andrew, or are we talking to other people? How many people were you talking to? I. Uh, what do you mean, like just re like in real life? How when many you said when you said that you distributed, you sent it to some people. Like how many and who are they? Who are like they? that? Yeah. Well, I went into the, in my class. I actually had because we it was a flex day where you could just catch up on work. I took my stuff and no one was doing anything. And I started going through my camera roll. I was showing the kids all this random shit I had in my camera roll, and I showed them that. And they thought it was all crazy and shit, and they thought it was a horrible person. When, when you when you were showing this to different people in your class, did anybody else think that it was kind of strange that you just had a video of a small child on your in your camera roll? <clears throat> Yeah. Okay. Oh well, yeah, they did. Now, I mean. be, before this, you were talking about a video, a a website that uh, had questionable names of videos on it. Did, did, was this video shared there? No, I didn't share that video there. Okay. Did you share anything to that site? I contemplated it, but I didn't have anything to put there. Okay. Okay. Anybody else wants to jump in? They can go ahead. Bye. So. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. So what... Can I... So, mm, go ahead. Sorry, sorry go I was ahead. just going to... Go ahead. Yeah, sorry. I don't mean to interrupt. I uh, just want uh, everyone to know that this is the kind of thing that's been going on for months now. Um, myself and my friends have been cataloging all his comments, all his videos that he's been posting. Um, we've been collecting all this information for a number of months now. Okay. This is just the tip of the iceberg he's, uh, he's mentioning. Okay, okay, can I this ask a question? Far real, deeper. Sorry. Can, can I ask a question real quick? Did you report this to the police with your crew? Yes. Okay, good. Um, yes. Has the police done something with it? Uh, at the moment, all they're saying is that the case is ongoing. It's open. It's an open case. Okay. Uh, the so, other person who's. Sorry. Sorry, let me, let me just say this. Uh, so, 
uh, Andrew, you've said earlier that your your shit's been confiscated before. They only found the guy, uh, two guys came over to my house one day, and I let them into the living room, and they talked with me, my mom, and my dad, and they said that he found a minimal amount, okay, and he said that I, I'll get the computer back, I'll get the iPad back. A minimal As, amount of what? See, this, this is what I don't get, a minimal amount. A minimal, yeah, a minimal amount of what? Exactly. Child, child porn, child porn. Wait, you so you had you child actually child had child porn in your computer on my phone, not the computer, not the iPad. Same difference. But I had to give it anyway. Doesn't matter. You're in possession of it. Okay. You're in possession of it. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. This is. This did is did 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 you did you acquire this from other people, or is this things that you, other things that you had filmed? Uh, I I just found it on that one site. I saved it. Like you downloaded stuff from the site, or you had it like bookmarked, of, or something of that nature. Well, on the phones. Well, when you uh, the, 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 regardless of what device it was on. Well, yeah, but you can't save it on a phone. You can't save the video, so you can only have photos. You can't save photos. So, so, you, so, so you took you like can. screenshots. You're saying? No, you, when you're on Google, you know how you hold your finger over the phone, and then you get these options to save it. Uh, okay, so so like sa saving uh, the thumbnail you of it. I you think I also did downloaded the content through. into your phone is what you're telling me. You directly. Yeah, I also did record. I also went on on my computer a few times. I, I was recording from my phone the computer screen with my pants down. So that's you another were, thing so, as well. so are are you saying you were recording yourself masturbating to this information <laughs> or to the, this content? I've got you on three counts out here. I've got you on possessing child pornography. Uh. Frequenting just child porn sites in general, and then just openly admitting to using that content for sexual. Well, crimes. it's true. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm asking. I'm getting asked questions. I'm gonna answer them as brutally possible. And not even. Yeah, you know, that's another. That's about... another question. I'm sorry, Verm. Um, no, you're just, fine. Just, just. Uh, when, when, when about did these uh, two men show up to your house? How long ago? Two officers showed up in the middle of August, and then uh, two other people came in the middle of uh, November. I, I think it was before. Uh, no, it was before after Halloween. Okay, so within the last two, like in the past. It, I'd say ten weeks. Yeah, that's about two months. Time. I'd rather say two months than ten okay, weeks. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, eight weeks, ten weeks. You know. Okay, yeah, yeah. What What matters right. is we we what we are understanding from this whole. Thing.
Meet him in here. Huh? He wanted to help him. I have another question that came to mind with uh, the previous discussion. Uh, Andrew. Yeah. Um, now, you said that you had uh, filmed uh, the the videos from that site, we'll say, and yourself yeah. with your pants down. Did, did you distribute that in any way? Did anyone else see that, or did you just have it yourself? Yeah, I sent it to a group chat. That now, are, you, you yeah, said that you're, Tom you was said, in. You said, you said that you're 16, I believe? Yes. <clears throat> you're aware that, that, that even... Even if it was regular pornography, that's still distribution of child pornography because you yourself are a minor. Yeah, so it's basically child porn of my own penis. Yes. Unfortunately, like, it's taking taking ta taking, Yo, taking taking the creepy stupid. aspect out of it, you're still breaking the law, even if you're not aware of it. Oh yeah, I've always known I was breaking the law. Okay. Why do it then? Why do it? Because it's something I really liked at the time, you know. Is, is it like an exhibitionist also, thing? Is it like something that you like, like you like showing yourself off with these things? Well, like, what, no. what's the deal, man? Liking I think it is. Like that. I genuinely think it is because I can actually attest to the fact that he has actually exposed himself in a group chat. And a few friends were trying to ask him if he has definitely changed. Towards the end of the group chat, he decided to basically expose himself. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, I can attest that he's actually telling the truth there. Okay. Jesus, okay. Honestly. I, I'm we'll just trying to understand the bigger picture here, like, like uh, encompass everything. Just I'm liking honest. something oh. does not mean that it's moral or correct to do it. It's one thing to say, oh, I play this game because I like... Game. It is another thing to say. Oh well, I watch child <laughs> pornography because I like it. You are promoting the exploitation of children, and you're also technically exploiting yourself by uploading videos of Wait, yourself. Or yo, that's or just completely about me and Bunny Gavin. I actually it's did always... touch a... What? I actually did touch a kid one time. What do you mean, guys? Can I, can I just fucking Christ? Can I just can I just jump in here? Go Sorry, ahead. I don't mean to interrupt anyone, but I just want to make this clear. This this conversation that we're having right now. Is something that me and my circle of friends have been having with Andrew for months. This isn't anything new. This has been going on for months. We've been telling him, get help, get therapy, turn yourself in, turn your devices in. We've been telling him to do this for so many months. I don't want to get involved with the cops again. They're so, too much. So let me, let me, let me, let me, no, no, let do me, ask, I mean? real, let, let me ask real quick. Can you vouch for the fact that he just said that he, he touched a kid? Is that true? Is there any truth? That, that me you're asking. Yeah, you know, have have has he told you that, or said he has? He has. He has. He has. So he said he said he attacked a kid in the park. He said he had um, basically everything that he's saying right now. Uh, basically, he has previously admitted. Oh my fucking god. Andrew, Dude, I have to be honest. This is, this yeah, is why Andrew, I've been, Andrew, this is why I've been kept quiet this whole time. It's like this is all stuff that I've heard, and this is why I haven't been seeing that much. This is all stuff that's been going on for months now, and it's so in, it's so fucking infuriating that police uh, haven't acted sooner. This is still going on. It's not changed one bit. Let me, uh, let me, let me ask some questions, Andrew. All right. You said you, you, you had touched a child before. How old was this child? Roughly. Uh, fourth grade. So about... Uh, I don't so about, uh, this, all right. About, uh, about nine years nine old. Nine years of age. Yeah. So... Let me, let and, me... and, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Cass. I know this is your stream. I'm just trying to get all the information here. Um, How old were you at the time? Uh, Sixteen. What did you do? Oh, you know, I, I just said though. No, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm asking for detailed information. What did you do? Uh, you said you touched the kid. That could be a fucking touch on the shoulder. What did you uh, do? I know what he did. What did he do? Well, I want yeah, to hear. Ronnie, 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 I'll come back to you. But Andrew, I want you to say it yourself. I want, I, I want to know what you did. All right, I went to the park. Uh, Four thirty. 
You what? Went to the park at about 4.30. And I found some kids from my old school. They were pretty nice to me. So I said, hey, I'm going to hang out with these guys. Because they seem very nice. And I was okay. just chilling around. We were playing tag and manhunt. And that kind of game. And, uh... We went to this small park. And I, there was this tic-tac-toe thing where you could bend these wheels and the X's will show up on one side of the O's on another. And I remember showing up there and I went X or O, she went X or O, I went X or O, and then she reached for the bottom three and she bent over and I put my hand, like, not touching, but like kind of like a behind. And then when she came to straighten herself, she bumped into it. And I guess you could say I was trying to get her to walk back and bump into it. Then she just so, kind of so, so, so you so was it like her ass? Like what 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 part of the body are we talking here? The right cheek. The right Wait, cheek so of the buttocks. She said it was. His... So beyond yeah. that, did anything happen afterwards, or did you yank your hand she away? She gave a very it? bizarre face, but then we went back and just did the same thing we did last time, just playing around in the forest. How, so, uh, we, okay, yeah. all, right, all right. Well, this is this is the the clarification that I want. Was it an accident, and you just wanted it to happen, or did you physically try to touch this child on the buttocks? I wanted it to happen. I put my hand there, but. I just kept it there, but when she backed up, I guess you could say it probably worked in my plan. Okay, so that, that, that's really fucked up, but that's still like a happenstance sort of thing, and that's more weird from your perspective than probably the child's, but still, what the fuck, dude? Sounds like to me you still took the opportunity. Yeah, you 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 were you were taking advantage of the situation. Now now say say hypothetically if there was another situation like this with a kid of the same age or in the same age range would you do it again mm, i might you know what I'll, i won't but I, i'd stay i'd look yeah, well, well, hold on hold on you 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 backtracked there you said Back, you might yeah. no i wouldn't do it i would look but i won't do it you i'm look. gonna go even further Wait, back you I mean, said you didn't have the attraction anymore yeah i know i don't but here when, when a man sees ass you know come yes, on but that's a child no, and also, a man, a man, a man seeing ass is one thing. Seeing the ass of a nine-year-old? What the fuck? It's a fucking kid, also, dude. Also, I'm sorry to interrupt, and I have to back it up here for a minute, but I don't know if anyone else caught this in the same way I did. What makes me concerned is that, regardless of the other stuff you have said, when you're saying you have forgotten about these thoughts, is that when we brought up the cell phone thing, it wasn't, I'm not going to do it again. It's, it is a different cell phone they cannot find me. And that right there tells me that you most likely are going to do it again. If nothing else, you are just afraid of constantly. Well, it, that that and the fact that you said you're not worried about it. Like, you need to be very yeah, well, worried about it. Well, you know, there's been so much problems with me lately. A lot of people saying they're going to do stuff, and nothing's damn happened. So I'm not worried. Like, Here's okay, the thing, listen, though, listen, the listen, dude. The, the police are already involved. They're already watching you. Just because yeah, nothing's know. happened yet and it's only been two months doesn't mean something isn't going to happen in the next few months. These things take time. You might already be fucked. And the more you do, the more you are just building. You're, you're, just, you're building a fucking portfolio of evidence. This is not the sort of thing where the cops look into it once and they go, oh, okay, and then they forget about you. You are in their databa database. They are keeping an eye on you and they are keeping track of everything you are doing. I will tell you that right now. So no to, 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 to add to that, you're on Discord right now. You're probably on your home network. Do you think they're not going to find this stream and not hear everything you just said? Well, to you mention see, all the people that are watching lying. this just now. Exactly. I've been I'm telling not lying. I'm not saying you are lying, but the fact is, more and more people are becoming aware of you. Okay, it used to be just a few people knew about the shit you were doing. Okay, now loads more people. Are finding out about it, okay? I know. People are. So what? So what are you going to do about it then? This is the whole point. What are you going to do about it? Uh, well, people are always going to be angry. 
You're, yeah, you're, you're, really you're, 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 listen, you're missing the point. Being angry doesn't mean anything. Number one, it's not even just being angry. Like I said, what you are doing now, again, I know you've said you don't do it anymore, but what you have done previously, that is consumption of child porn. For child to, porn to even exist, the exploitation of a child needs to happen. And the more it is watched and the more it is shared, creates a higher demand for child porn which oh yeah the, one of the cops told me that yeah it means more children are being hurt so even if you are not actively doing anything yourself sharing it liking it whatever is creating more demand for that and you are going I'm still to hurt participate more children. i'm still participating in the sharing of the content that that's okay then right there you have to change You've just well, there, I got it. All, all, here, here's a, here's another question. How about how long ago was this incident with the nine year old? About a few months into being sixteen. So, I'm turning. Well, I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know your exact age. Oh, about just, a year ago. No, Around. I'm turning sixteen in a few months. So, maybe a month in to being sixteen. So, with it, less than a year ago. Yeah, give me a I second. I might so. be able to find out the exact date. If you just give me a second. Go ahead. All right. Yeah, see, Tom knows everything. Yeah, true. That. Even if you don't care about yourself, even if you don't care about your own shit, you are hurting other people, whether you I care about or myself. Not. And and it's I'm not saying you don't. I'm just saying it it is far beyond people being angry. It is you are going to hurt more people. And especially with the thoughts like that, you may have not touched that child, but you admitted yourself that you wanted it to happen. What, if you are in that sort of situation, what is going to stop you from next time just reaching out and doing it? And and what more than that is going to stop you from pushing past that and full on assaulting a child? You could say you're not going to do that, but in the moment, be honest with yourself. Do you really think you could stop or do you think that that's something that could very well happen? Well, I failed trying to stop like four or five times. And uh, for each try, I do show a pretty genuine effort. My first attempt was the best attempt. The second one wasn't so good. The third one was all right. It's not Sorry to interrupt. I've got, um, I've got a date for that uh, screenshot I took. It says the 1st of April 2021, uh, but it was a couple of days afterwards. So it must have been in late May when he posted that video. It may of last year. Wait. No, it must have been after March. Oh no, well it happened. Well oh, sorry, no. No, sorry. Uh sorry, I, I, I'm going, I have I'm to going ahead of myself. We'll just say about sorry. half a year. I, I need to inter interject real quick. So look, okay, I, I have a genuine uh question to tell you about all of this. Do, what do you want to pursue in life? Do you want to have a good life? Do you want to try to have a life where someone gives a shit about you? To have a career path or something? Yeah, I have a pretty cool career path. I... Okay, look, look, look. You are heading to a really awful path. And if you don't no. do your shit soon to make work with it, even if you have to go through the pain of dealing with some really uncomfortable situations, like talking to a therapist, for example... You need to persevere on doing these things because there's going to be a point of no return. That anything you could have done with your life will be null and void. This is what we've been trying to tell you. This is Life isn't as stupid as you think it is. It isn't a game. If you make one wrong, wrong move, you're done. You're finished. Unfortunately, yeah, I know, but I want to keep doing... I want to do good things. I already have good qualities, you know that, right? If you want to do... Oh, myself, okay. Yes. I have mentioned myself that he is a very good musician. I will. I talk to band members of no, my favorite I, group, but they don't speak English. But I still like, you know, well, being well, near them. And, well, here's, and here's no the one's thing, denying Andrew. that. Why don't you focus you? on that? Why you, don't you, you focus could, on that instead of this? You can yeah, be a I don't good person, know. Though. But you need help. If I am telling you right now, if you keep this up, and even with you, what you have already done. I'm sorry, there's nothing that could change that, and you very well could be charged for those things, even if they didn't do it automatically. But I'm telling you now, you keep down this road, you could very well end up in prison, and you are not going to get to do what you want to do. And if you want me to be more honest and visceral with you, um, pedophiles are treated awfully in prison, and uh, Sadly, they very well could be raped, beaten to death, 
Lord knows why. Uh, you, there's also a reason why certain countries call uh, pedophiles in prison rock spiders because that's literally the only way they're going to survive by like literally staying away from everyone, being in the dark recesses of that same prison. The truth is, it, like for like example, Amos C. Do you think he's gonna live in prison for long? No. And even then, a lot of times they'll find you. Number number one target in any prison are like wife beaters and child molesters. Exactly, rapists, child molesters, and wife beaters. Yeah, I get it. You're not. But what you're are you not, gonna do about it then? If you end up in prison, you're not gonna last long. You're like what, sixteen? Mm -hmm. What makes you mm -hmm. think you're gonna survive a bunch of people who probably are a lot older than you, a lot more experienced in killing than you, and probably mm -hmm. have a justified vendetta because they believe you're a threat to their family? You see what I mean here? Yeah. I keep saying you're getting it, but there's no permeance. It's not actually getting to you. Well, I'm not a retard, okay? I'm, I not, don't I'm not calling you a retard. I'm just you saying are. I can tell with the way you are talking and reacting to things that as much as you say you get it and understand it, I don't think you actually understand the consequences and what could happen to you and other people. I am telling you now nothing is changing unless you walk into a therapist's office willingly. And yes, I've already it's been through like three of them. Yes, I know. Well, and I, I will tell you this. I have my own issues, mental illness. Obviously nothing like pedophilia. But I've had to go through a laundry list of therapists and psychiatrists myself. It takes time. You have to put in the work and effort for things to change. And it is not going to be comfortable for you. I still get uncomfortable sitting in a therapist's office, and I don't even deal with these issues. It It it's is hard to open hell. up. Yes, I know. It is. It, it's hard to open up and talk to someone. It, it's very awkward, but you need to put in the work if anything is going to change. And I, I don't know if you've seen anyone who specializes in it, but there are very many therapists and psychiatrists who specifically handle pedophilia, and they would probably be able to get on your level a lot more with talking about these things i'm not yeah, saying you're gonna yeah, feel 100 comfortable talking to them but you might be a bit more comfortable if you could find a specialist uh, the question i have to ask is why why do you feel the need to go to some random internet people to try to be friends with you and defend you um that doesn't sound like i mean that, that that's not going to help you let's make that very clear none of that shit's going to help you you said i did that ronnie <laughs> Like, oh, Ronnie yeah. has spent God knows how many months trying to attack me, Gage, and Bunny, and saying that we're all assholes because- I never attack you. Well, not me specifically, but I heard you talking shit. And we'll get into the Lance stuff later. But- Yeah. The Lance? Yeah, the problem is- I don't support him. Anymore. No. Alright, whatever you say. The case in point, what I'm saying is, is that you're following people who want to defend you, dude. For that, for one specific reason or another, it doesn't sound like you want a redemption arc. It sounds like you just want people to defend you. It reminds me of Raven no. in that sense. I'm a good friend with him. We have friend I, connections. I also want to say this um, right now. You could say you don't defend them, and I, I don't know the full list of what supposedly done. But choosing to be friends with people who openly admit these things is a defense in itself. I didn't do it now. I didn't do it yesterday, or the day before, or the day before, or the day before. Matter if you did it now or yesterday. You said you did it only a handful of weeks ago. That's He's a very true. forgiving person. I'll, I'll tell him that. Yeah, and I'm sorry, but that that is a, being forgiving of things like that is defending it. It may not actively be going back to bat for you and saying like, "Oh, I support this." You are backhandedly Excusing supporting it. that, though, by continuing yes. to be friends with them, continuing to forgive their actions. It's an indirect support, is what, I'm, what it boils down to. Yeah, that, that's the word. I can be friends with whoever I want. I'm not uh, saying you can't be friends with whoever you want. I'm just saying that that is what that is at the end of the day. I mean, do what you no. will, but the reason why we're, we're questioning it is because it never ends well when people do this shit. Where, like, you think it's okay now. Until you end up realizing that people will brand you similar to the people you defend so much. And then eventually your life is going to also get all kinds of butt fucked because you will get doxxed. I was gonna, I was gonna pull that into this. Shit. Lord, I hope he has not shared anything with you. Because you could be implicated yourself. And even just hearing these things and choosing to defend them and not report you could very well get your ass in trouble hey, Ronnie, as well. Ronnie, I need, I need to ask. Has he ever shared any of this shit with you? 
Like, like what, for example? Well, the shit he's been doing. Andrew K's been doing. Well, Andrew, remember that one time when you sent that one image? Remember? What image? Yeah. Oh my god, it was we in, on a Instagram. Here. Say it. Huh? Go say ahead, it. Just say it. What is it? What was the picture? Um, I think it was some, um... Get in a hospital, I think. Yeah. I don't know what you would call it. Yeah, life support bed. Yeah, why'd you send that? Unfortunately, that was a video as well that he posted on his channel again before it got terminated. It was a picture of what looked like a baby with quite a lot of burns uh, on well, his face. He also sent a baby's ass. Um. Oh my god. That's a new one. That's a new one. Fucking hell. I am. I did that. Jesus Again, Christ. The, the only thing I could compare this to is murder. If you knew a murderer and you actively knew what they were doing and you hid that, like you kept your mouth shut, you did not say shit to police and you knew that was going on, your ass would very well be questioned and sent to jail too. Yeah, um, actually, can I ask Ronnie, were you aware of any of the stuff that we just delved into for the past hour or so? Why Kim touching a kid? Yeah. I told you I knew about it, so yeah. Okay, I just want clarification is all. You know, something, it, it helps. So, this, okay. So if the cops start arresting Andrew at any point, and they want to, like, play a fishing net game, which they usually do, which is they catch as many people as possible as part of their job, right? Um, you can be implicated as an accomplice to a crime. He hasn't helped me do this stuff. It does not matter. matter. You're still involved. It, You're it still doesn't involved. matter if you. Don't I told help. him to turn himself in. It, it 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 does not matter if you actively helped him or you just turned a blind eye. You will be considered an accomplice to a crime. Yeah, I know. But I told him to turn himself in. He did. Yeah, you it doesn't really like save button. you. <laughs> no. Yeah. It, it depends. Really... It, it all just depends on how police look at it and. Brb. I, I really hope you don't think you could get away with it either, because they, get, regardless of whether you're saving material or whatever in general, uh, they they can go through accounts and see you talking to him and anyone that he is talking to. Yeah, not, not to mention, if you, if you are aware of the things that he's done privately and you haven't brought them to the attention of law enforcement, you can be drug into the investigation yeah. as well. Yeah. Then why haven't Despite you told told the cops about what he did now? But who, someone, who specifically? someone in this group already. What Bunny Andrew already K just said. Why didn't? Why aren't you telling the cops then? Uh, well, first of all, Bunny, Bunny said Gathering he already said that he already did with his crew of people. I'm just learning yeah. this shit today, because I didn't even get involved with Andrew K up until today. You, am I going to report the in my own way over over this shit? Yeah. After this, I'm definitely going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, saying so Cass, I'm more than happy to share what information I have uh, privately. Um, any personal details, I'm willing to share all of that with you. Oh, so uh, you're doxing him? Well, uh, yeah, don't. Uh, I'll oh, definitely Ronnie. talk to you when I when I can. You doxed him, Bro. Uh, Ronnie. You're not really one to talk about doxing, okay? You've been involved. No, in you're the one that gives me a dox, and yeah, you do. All right, it too. so, so Ron, Ronnie, you really want to go down that route? Well, let, let's talk about a certain 11 year old girl that you were you were fucking trying to blackmail with talking to her ex boyfriend about. Her. I doxed her. And, and did the oh, ex-boyfriend send you send you any pictures? Yeah. What what did you get exactly? Well, there was face pictures and there was one other one. Oh god. What, what, was claims, it of her? Claims, what, was it of her thighs and possibly her ass? Yeah. Yeah, claims. but I don't have it. Yeah, that doesn't matter if you fucking have it now. It. I don't it have it. It Do you not either, understand what I'm either. saying with when law enforcement starts looking into cases like this? It doesn't matter if you saved anything. If you are found in those conversations and I was are not actively reporting them, you could very well be implicated yourself. So, so you're, um, you're, you're complaining about us doxing somebody who has literally done illegal actions, yeah. and you're complaining about it where you yourself has do have doxed an 11-year-old girl. Apparently, Gavin is of here. Hold, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. You have also tried to spread Gage's docs over a petty dispute, you fucking tard. 
there's well, also he made false a accusations. Master. What false so accusations? So if it's justifiable, then it does not matter. You know, no, 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 no. Ronnie, hold, that on, makes hold on, no fucking sense. hold on, hold on, Ronnie. What false accusations? Explain. He called me a pedophile. He called me a pedophile. He called you a pedophile. Yeah. Well, Even okay. if it's not Look, correct, when he said really... I groomed a, a girl. Can you and, really and, and you're not, you you yourself are not a, a pedophile when you were trying to get pictures of a fucking eleven year old? No, I wasn't trying. Andrew, I'm not to talking get, to you. Um, her five. My bad. You do realize that um that was specifically why Gage called you that was because of that shit. You Wait. Feeling wore off, you know, because I got older, you know. I'll, I'll say this in general too. Do you really blame someone's line of thought for calling you a pedophile when the people you? But I don't with... like her. No, but here's what I'm getting to. Would you blame someone for thinking that you are a pedophile when you choose to be friends and hang out with pedophiles? Would you blame someone for thinking that there is a connection there? I wouldn't blame him for saying I'm a creep. I'll tell you right now, as an adult, if anyone told me the shit that was coming out of this kid's mouth right now, I would 100% their ass would be immediately reported, blocked, fucking everything. Look, this man, is, when, I, when, I, when I was your age, I was fucking a 28-year-old. Was it right? No. Was it, But fuck it. Like, I was going for older chicks, not younger. Yeah, I said that too. I'm not after younger split. chicks. Uh, who's cranium, by the way? Which one's Cranium? My, uh, he's my, he was my friend. I often message him. Well, no, no, what, what is his current account? Because people want him on stream, and I have no idea where he is. He doesn't turn his mic on at all, okay? He won't do it, but uh, I talk to Why? him a lot. Why does he need to be here? Also, where's this, where's this Andrew V individual? I kind of want to um, get him in Andrew here. Valkis keeps leaving because he's been an impatient little shit. He keeps leaving <laughs> the server and coming back. Can, right can we, uh, can we, can we message him and just be like, hey, you'll come in right now? Yeah, no, we'll definitely talk about. We'll definitely talk to him now. Uh, but All he right. needs to learn some fucking. Can things. I screen share? No, 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 you no, can't. Absolutely no, 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 fucking absolutely not. not. You but I want to go on YouTube. I'm getting faggot. fucking busted because I saw some shit I did not want to fucking see. What? What did I screen share? I did earlier. earlier you Wait, apparently earlier you flashed yourself. None of us are it's taking nice. any sort well, of. I, look, I'm glad you can say you regret what you screen. did, but that doesn't fucking mean anything. Like I didn't flash. She my... forgave me. Well, I'm just guys. Saying, can guys... I just point out? Yes, that's sorry, good. Can I... I'm, going, I'm, about, I'm about to be 31 years old. I ain't looking at fucking kids, bro. I, I'm, I like older women. Old man. Yeah, no, I'm into older too. No, no. <laughs>
Oh. Oh. Never once in my life have I thought, mm, yeah, you know what? Five-year-olds, I've really been missing something with them. No. That's oh. actually how it went. <laughs> That's not a normal thought. That is yeah, mental Yeah, well, I'm starting to get that. This is a wonderful time to have dinner, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I got the pot. I'm gonna go fucking crazy if I don't smoke this. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, I've kind of reached a point where I just want to get drunk right now. Honestly, well, uh, hey, yo, drink. I'm right I'm right there with you, buddy. It's stupid. I wish I could drink right Leprechaun. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, why don't you come up with something more original, okay? <laughs> Or a lesbian looking beta male who's using the same fucking insults over and over what? and over again. Okay? Why are you so mad, yo? You literally said that I should overdose yesterday. Also, uh, exactly. I'll, I'll, I don't care. Fuck you know, no, I don't believe that. Don't beat the people I used to associate with because they're good people. I don't, I don't, I don't give a shit. You deserve the fucking wood chipper. Oh, I won't stop. You, you, come on. Here we go. If all my information's out there, then why don't you do something about it? <laughs> it's not that people aren't doing anything, and this is exactly why I say you don't understand. People have done something. Alright, well, I'm still on the here. Time I'm still on my couch right now. No, and here's what I'm saying, and this was explained to you earlier. Just because cops choose to ignore something in the moment does not mean that nothing is going to happen to you. More than often- That, that means they're like collecting this, fucking evidence. It means they're getting fuck even up, more like... information on you so that you can get a heavier charge. Actually, yes, it, the fact that they go out of their way to uh, confiscate your shit in the first place probably means that they're not ignoring you. They are taking their sweet time, but that means anything you do from here on out is being watched and monitored. Hell to the no. So, I don't- I, I honestly, I say good job for Bunny Gathering, because he actually did the professional way of handling things. Alright. Hey, look, 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 look Andrew. This is one thing I don't get about you, Ronnie. You seem to surround yourself with other child predators. I mean, I don't get Who? that. Who? Who? Not me. Who? Yeah. Really? You're gonna, hey. you're gonna, you're gonna ask Andrew, you can't even me? fucking say not me. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. <laughs> he, he changed. Whoever you I got did. the docs he, from. He changed in the past 14 days. Well, well also... Better there's... get it done quick. He, he's changing. There's... Yeah. Yeah. No, he's really not. He said I... the same thing... Fucking two months ago. Oh my okay. fucking God. I've changed. I stopped Appar drinking. Apparently, change is easy. <laughs> it's about as quickly as playing a Call of Duty match, somehow. I don't know, man. When the oh alcoholic man, it's a new, it's a, it's a new map. It's a new game. We got to fucking. When the alcoholic over here hasn't drinking in a whole three days, I'm pretty sure he's sober now, guy. <laughs> spoiler spoiler alert. Nope. <laughs> also, uh, hey Gage, if you want to get in, in a minute, just just wait. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to see if we can get uh, Valcos and Val Valcos, whatever the fuck you call them in here. Also, I hope you realize that the I, I don't have any off the top of my head at the moment. I would have to pull up the old Google machine. But uh, there have been many a study on this sort of thing. These are not thoughts that just go away. You no. need professional help. And then there, there's even there's even back. proof that with therapy they don't go away. So you might be fucked no, regardless. It's but it's better to try than not. Exactly. <laughs> Well, I still got good things I could do, even if it don't work. Keep yes, me you, you, you got you, you got good things you can do, like getting commissary in prison. No, <laughs> no. Well, and I'm that's another thing prison. therapy will teach you too. In general, you will learn coping thought. Ah, you I know how to cope coping with skill. No, it, it's it's not saying it that the thoughts will go away, but it's way to to deal with not. them and not act on them. Okay, exactly. so let me point out like this. So you got the hard path, which is probably the better one we've been demanding, which is go to therapy. Or you can take probably the more fucked up path, which isn't going to end well for you, where you go to prison for your actions, and then for the rest of your days, you'll be nothing more than, like, the fucking public um, cell, uh, the cell room urinal for every motherfucker in the cell block that you're in. And if you ever get out, you're going to have that on your record forever, and you'll never get a job. Yeah, good luck getting a job with that shit. <laughs> oh, so hello there, Atman. <laughs> and not to mention, it's not, these aren't, this isn't the point where they're just thoughts in your head. It is to the point where you have already started doing things and started acting out on it. That's how I especially know it's not going to go away. You have already started sliding down that hill. 
Exactly. I mean, when you when you say that you were you were looking for an opportunity here. to lay your hands on a child, who's to say it's going to stop at that? Who's to say there's not going to be another opportunity where you go further than that? You can say in the moment that you're not going to do that, but who knows what the future holds? Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Do you? I don't. I, I don't you, you don't. You, you don't fucking get it. You can I say it all you it. want, but you don't because you're not making any fucking actions to fix your behavior. We're only saying the things that we want to hear. That's what exactly. You're saying. Con. Well, why would I want to say? The Honey, come up with something more hear. original, okay? Uh, go back to your pot of gold. Jesus Christ. Why would I want to say the things you don't want to hear? Thank you're you. just going to get angry over it anyway. Oh, okay. Put your green hat back on. And go we're going to get angry control. regardless. What the fuck does it matter? At least we're, fucking try to get uh, some we're help, complete, dude. We're completely justified in getting <laughs> ang angry with you, dude. Come on, shut the fuck no, up. No, you're not. No, <laughs> no one deserves to be angry. <laughs> yes. You are telling Yo, let's me... let's all be chill. Yeah. Number one, I, yeah. I will say this now. As someone who has been groomed myself and has been Ooh. abused myself, I'm being real fucking chill I mean, with you right now. I appreciate <laughs> that, yo. I could be a hell of a lot worse on you. I'm trying to at least be somewhat nice because, like I said, in some ways you are still a child. I would, even as someone who fucking hates pedophiles, I would rather but go I'm see them get help. No. no. I'm not talking about you, though. It's good you're not. Well... I, I guess never was it's okay. One. You're not. Yeah, that's, I know that. Well, she says I am. But you're not one. That's the thing. Okay. Yeah, I know one. I did not call you a pedophile. I said, would you blame someone? Oh, for hold the, the fuck up! Wait, well, hold on, Ronnie. 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 Yeah. I I don't think you were completely honest with me, Ronnie. I'm trying to be nice to you. What? You're... Guys, look what's on stream. Oh. He, what what saying. what's what's this about saving eleven year olds nudes? What what is it? It was not nudes. It was a five. There's it was nothing wrong with that. The fi and that harassed a because that's a nude. Hold, hold on, it's literally in the screenshot that you did. I save don't the need nudes to see a fucking cast. There's like a th cast. There's like a thirty when second catch up. Was wrong. I deleted it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, it will pop up in a minute. But like as you can see. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm looking at right now. All right. You, you mm -hmm. literally admitted to this shit. On top of the fact that apparently you've been doxing a child. It's a fucking 11 year old, dude. Well, I don't care if you're 14. I, She's I fucking 11. Around my age, so. you, you, you do you do realize that like when it comes to doxing minors, there is a bit. There is I'll dox specifics. anyone. I don't. So let, let me don't let me let anyone. me give you let me give you a short rundown here. Every state in the United States, there is a age of consent law. Yeah. Most of which allow like a four year gap. Yeah. That starts at 14. It doesn't go below 14. That's okay. state law. Well, as far as things go online, it's 18 across the board. Well, 18 across the board for, for that, but I'm saying like in person, it's 14, well, four, 14 to 18. It's a four year. My, up my and girlfriend down. is 14, so it's okay. Well, well, yeah. What you do with your with your fourteen year old girlfriend is your business. But this if you receive pictures from her, that is still legal this because is it's not over. Your though. Huh? That's not what I'm talking there about. There's more to this story. No, well, this why, why? Why? Why don't? Why don't you be honest about the eleven year old? Because I don't think yeah, you're being honest about it. I got that photo from her ex. Guys, I'm going to jump in here because I actually had a conversation with one of Ronnie's friends, um, and Please I did do. say I was going to—I was did say I was going to bring this up. Apparently, there's other people involved in this whole situation with the 11-year-old. How many? Uh, and why? Uh, two, uh, two other people. Okay. Two other people. There is this one person. Not sure if I should say his name, so I'm not going to. I'll but say his name. Gregory. So I knew that. Gregory. All right. Okay. Fine. Ronnie said that, so it's off me. Him. This person called Gregory apparently had a bit of a beef with Ronnie. And okay. there was another person who I don't know, can't remember his name. Uh, apparently he sent images to Ronnie, if I am remembering this correctly. He sent images of the 11-year-old to Ronnie in an attempt to basically get him caught. To say, oh look, you've got images of uh, an 11-year-old. This is a story that I've been told. 
I personally have trouble believing it, especially considering the screenshot that we're seeing right now on Discord. Then how saying did I get saved it? it. If you're friends with a if you're friends 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 friends. Well, it doesn't matter how you got it, Ronnie. The fact is, you literally say that you saved it. Okay? I didn't ask for it. If you ask for it, it does not matter. It does not matter if you ask for it or if you... That almost we're a year ago. You shut the fuck up and let me finish. No, you okay? sorry, you fuck up. rude okay. for no Ronnie, reason. Shut the fuck up and let me no, finish. You, okay, I'm no, actually you, defending you, you here. I am actually defending you here, Ronnie. I'm giving you no, the benefit of the fucking doubt. You don't let me no, finish you're then. Not. You don't let me finish. Do you it. Let me finish. Do it. Hi, please. Thank you. What I'm saying is, it does not matter if you asked for it. It does not matter if it was sent to you in an attempt to incriminate you. Okay. The fact is. It says here, you s fucking saved it, right? The reason why I'm bringing this up right now is that I was under the impression that you asked for it. If there's any chance that someone else sent it to you in an attempt to incriminate you, I can't argue that. It's giving me an element of doubt, okay? So this is the part where I'm actually sticking up for you, okay? This is the so, part so, where I'm actually sticking up for you. I'm sorry. I'm to saying that there's a... I'm sorry right. to interrupt, but um, someone sent an actual super chat. Uh, let me read it for you because the audio decided to fuck up for some reason. I'll, I'll fix it, but let me read it from uh, Cherry Candy. says, if you're friends with pedo, then you're just looking the, uh, around the other way and letting kids get hurt by them. You're just as bad uh -oh. at that point on another note. Love that. Uh, I love the stream. I love goes for the throat cast. Um, thank you. Thank you for the Yo, Let me chat. respond to that. Thank you for the kind words. Okay, go ahead. So... How am I letting other kids get hurt if I'm trying to um, change them so no other kids do get hurt? That's fine. I've said all I needed to say. I'm just saying that this story involving the 11-year-old, I thought I was pretty dead set on it. Apparently, because I've heard this other story, it's given me a small element of doubt about uh, how Ronnie got those images. But I, it still I just asked for information to use for the docs. Jesus Christ. So why did you even want to dox her in the first place? Because she rejected Be exactly. you? Because I it's thought she was talking behind my back. Who cares? It's an 11 year old, oh, bro. So I was mad. Oh at no, me. so it said mean words to me on the internet. I have to I, I, I never you said it. I never said like it was okay. fucking pussy. You know I what I okay. do when the reader wants to talk yeah, shit? Oh, they said mean things about me on the internet. Grow the fuck up. Oh, because I was friends with her. You were, you, wait, you were, why, okay, why did you decide to dox her, then? Why? Because I thought she was saying bad stuff about me. You thought she was saying bad stuff about you, why does that, yeah, is Yeah, but she forgave me. Why do you care? Why, why, because why we were dogs? friends. And yes, because that I was mad. sucked, and that stings, but what you do in that situation is really you either walk away, or if you do get in a fight back, you fight on the level. You don't spread people's personal information online. And you can go, yeah, yeah, you guys dox, whatever. There is a massive difference between doxing someone who has done something illegal and doxing someone who said the mean words to me online and hurt my fifis. Also, I know, I know it was bad now. There's another super Not chat only that. for one dollar. I apologize said, to her. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. Super chat. He literally just said that he had CP like 30 minutes ago in Discord. He will not change. Me? I, th I think it was, it was probably might be referring to, uh, you know... Uh, your friend over here. Yeah. I didn't do it. Or maybe may, I might be. I don't fucking. I don't. No, know. you did earlier because you said you were still watching those videos. You went from no, I didn't. three to four weeks ago to I, I didn't still send it. That. All right, yeah. Hold on. Let me go. Let me go show the screenshots proving this shit once and. It wasn't me. It's someone pretending to be me. Cry, cry some more. I don't care. All right, you got a little sister. Here we go what? again. <laughs> <laughs> this is another thing. This this is another thing that Andrew does. When he gets angry or irritated, you'll start asking people if they've got younger sisters or they've Yo. got daughters. I, I don't know. Do you have a mom? Let me go read from Ronnie. He says, I don't know. I, I liked it, so I save it to a folder. So the person says, so you liked indecent images of children? You said it was actually it was actually Savvy's thighs, whatever they're called. Uh, and then says likely, but why bother saving them? Not to mention, you said it, it, it was it was your favorite porn material instead on sexually harassing her. It wasn't bad enough. So, were, so Ronnie, were you sexually hounding this girl for nudes? Was that really was that what you're doing? Your silence is deafening, Ronnie. What am I doing? I was on mute. Okay, well, it said through this uh, screenshot about you saving material and then harassing the girl. Is that what you were doing? I, 
I saved the image. Yeah, but you saving the image. Yeah, but I deleted it. It doesn't matter. You saved it. Still saved it. I know, and you I do, regret you it. You do realize that, sh that shit is still somewhere in your hard drive, right? That information doesn't go away anytime soon. Yeah. So I know it was all Ron my fault. Ronnie, Ronnie, I've got something else here I Ow. want to talk to you about. Nobody. So, so I have a, I have a uh, screenshot of a conversation here, Ronnie. It says I've gotten. I I've gotten nudes. To yell at him by the sound of that. I've gotten nudes from older girls before. Is that a problem? And the person said over sixteen or under, and it says fifteen. So you've gotten nudes from fifteen-year-olds. He left. Just so you uh, know. why I'm having a hard course, time believing. Of course Ronnie's he did. Uh, j like I said, I think he just got yelled at by mommy. If you heard that little ruckus. No, I didn't hear that. He says I'm busy right now. I'll be back soon. No one, yeah. mom. Ma ma mommy just made him some tendies. Uh, <laughs> it says, "Why are you feeding the edgy boy trolls?" Well, first of all, I don't really see them as trolls because if you're going this far, it, it, you know the whole argument of trolling goes away. Um, and two, uh, I kind of like when people bury themselves on my show. It's kind of part of what I do. So, well, fuckers are just giving themselves up too. It's just like, yeah, it's not even difficult. No, it's I'd also not. just like to say I always hate that defense. I'm just constantly reminded of that meme of the dude autistically screeching and then the other guy being like, what are you doing? And him being like, I was just joking, man. It's a joke. Why don't you get it? It's just a prank, bro. Just a prank. It doesn't matter if it's a joke. You can joke about certain things. Going this far with joking about that. Ooh, I don't care if it's a troll. Oh, hold on. What's this in chat? X Blin. Ronnie and Andrew K once ha harassed my 13-year-old sister. Hmm. Yeah, I know. I remember that. That was a good time. C yes. could, you, could, could you possibly elaborate on that? Either oh, Ronnie or Swain wanting you to? Yep, I love doing it. I would do it again. I was I was just searching. I found pictures of his sister and him and his sister on the bed on a bed and I did some stuff with all my channel too. Hold on. Okay, so that's gross. That's, fu that's fucking gross, but um, d d were you searching him because he was somebody who was talking shit on you? Yeah, I just searched through his account stuff, like who he was following and accounts with his name. You're just gonna ignore the fact that this motherfucker just went, I'd do it again anytime. That, yeah. That's not... That's not a sign of fucking making yourself... That's so you're, not you're, you're, change. So, so what you're saying is you would find pictures of a fucking minor oh, and be Lord. like, oh yeah, and then jerk off to it again. No, I didn't jerk off to them, actually. Then what did you, you, you said... You, you said you, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Elaborate. You said you did stuff. What did you do? Well, Tom said he wanted to say something, so let Tom say it. Hey guys, I can actually uh, give some light to this situation. Uh, the person... Uh, who's made himself known, Swain. He's actually uh, one of my friends. He's got a younger sister who is 13 years old. Ironically, this is a person that Ronnie himself has threatened to rape on numerous occasions. Uh, he then spoke to Andrew and asked Andrew uh, about getting pictures of uh, the 13-year-old and also asked uh, what her Instagram is. In fact, if Cass is okay with it, I can share the screenshots in the uh, chat. Go ahead. Okay, if you just give me a second. Whatever. I'll have to go into another file. Well, <clears throat> while he's doing that, can you throw up that uh, that screenshot that's in the, the uh, live stream Discord chat? The, the, the censored one? Hello there, Gage. I, I, don't, I don't know what this is, but uh, that looks pretty fucking incriminating to me. Oh, Jesus, why? Yeah. So sorry to interrupt. I was just saying, I'm getting big uh, Ross bathtub vibes with the whole. It's okay. Oh, though. It that's, that's the reason why. I didn't right? jerk I off to it. I was Ross, just looking at damn, little girls dude. in bathtubs. Uh, that's There's that's the reason why I wanted it. to cover this whole story. With oh, I gotta go. Over. I gotta go. My mama's yelling at me. Oof. My, my mom's yelling at me. She says I'm putting kids in the tub. You hear a fucking shoe flying through the back right now? But no, yeah, I, I I wasn't even welcome on the stream. I fucking popped in, but I'm fucking <laughs> glad I did, dude. Yeah, uh, I just want to point out the reason, like, oh, why do you give these people attention? Well, I mean, I, I was interested in the Ross vibes. 
Like, why give guys, Why give these atten- these people attention so you can fucking shit on them because they're pieces of garbage? Yeah, and That's the fact why. that anytime they speak, it's like listening to Jonathan Ross's r- retarded ex cousin. Exactly. Like the best thing to do is like put these people on blast so that everyone knows the fu- like the sick fucking shit they did. No one's not, trying to defend their not, actions. Not to mention, I have plenty of fun doing it anyway, so that's why. Why not? You could also give it, call it giving someone attention, but at the end of the day, it's also incriminating himself. So Yo! Alright, there we go, buddy. There we go. What's this? Like the, sa- the same stupid fuck with the giving attention argument is also the same greasy clout chaser from Down Under who keeps blowing himself every time he fucks up his own account every other week. Yeah, I've seen some pretty retarded arguments in chat. Not gonna lie. <laughs> this is what happens. Uh, to someone I like the fact that Andrew's laughing when Andrew just literally indicted himself. Like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> when you're so fucking stupid, you strap yourself to the explosive before it goes off. <laughs> wait, 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 the Andrew. There's a, the hold, on, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, Andrew. Okay, there's yeah. pictures. What do you mean there's pictures? Of what? Um, he's literally. Te- Tom is literally texting me right now for whatever reason. Well, no, I'm a- I'm asking you. You said okay. There's pictures in the Discord chat. What are you What are you talking about? I don't know. There's no pictures in the Discord chat. I didn't send any. No, no, um, no, no. no. I, I didn't say. I, listen, I didn't say there was Tom pictures sent in the Discord me some chat. Photos, and I don't know what to say to them. Take off. Take oh. your fucking Adderall, sped boy. Jesus. They're just pictures of the chat. That's when we were say. talking what about. <laughs> What it is, is that Andrew actually found pictures of Swain's younger sister and he actually started posting them on his own channel and he also used the picture of his sister as his profile pic. Yeah, like doxing a little kid. Very clever dipshit. Swain, I see you're in the chat. I'm sorry to ask this, but can I get your age and your sister's age just for the uh, clarification of law enforcement? Can you put that in the chat, please? I don't need anything else other than that, just... Just trying to figure out what's going on here. Uh, so, uh, I, I guess in the case of Ronnie Vane, uh, I think the winning verdict on this debate would probably be Bunny Gathering. Wait, let's go with that. <laughs> He's already left. <laughs> yeah. Then the fact that Ronnie can't really accurately or really eloquently defend anything that uh, he's really this is, done. This is the a- a- Andrew. Andrew, I'll give you credit for sticking around, bud. Like, but uh, Jesus Christ, you, you, you've. Ah. Uh, uh, Thanks for, thanks for the evidence, I guess. Well, yeah, you're welcome. No problem. My fucking God. Yep. Swain, so you're, fucking, Swain, you're so 16. Fucking about it. You're, you're 16. Your sister just turned 14. So your sister was 13 at the time. Oof. Yep. Jesus. Thanks, Swain. Not looking good on his part. You're, you're, you're part of the Sweetie Squad now. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that takes me back. Yes, it does. So, As you can see, uh, guys, next thing you start hearing Andrew scream. Hey, 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 well, well, hello no. there, chat. Go ahead, bunny gathering. I just going to say, as you can see, guys, this is how crazy it's gotten over the last few months. I mean, like I said before, this is not something that's only recently happened. This has been going on for months. Uh, and we've had the same conversations with the likes of Andrew and, to a lesser extent, Ronnie. And they just don't fucking learn. They just yeah, don't. They clearly don't, no. They, they don't seem like they learn at all. No, and I'm literally sitting on, you know, literally hundreds of screenshots of both uh, Ronnie and Andrew and the sick shit they have been saying. I mean, I've been posting... Some of the things I've been posting right now is just a small sample. I mean, this is how crazy it is. <coughs> Truly. Uh, yeah, no, it's is how it is like this is um this is this is what it really seems frustrating me too is um i was about to get into it before ronnie fucking left out but it's like you're not really giving yourself any credence by defending these people it really doesn't matter what you had to say the fact is that this guy literally goes as far has admitted this stuff that, like we can kind of at this point confirm the cops are involved in this situation there's no defending this kid there's no defending him whatsoever, and Ronnie wants to do it. I was about to bring up the Lance stuff, but I fuck it, since he left, I'm going to say it here. My problem with Ronnie, from what I can tell, is that he gets so butthurt that he will side with the literal pedophiles just to have a vendetta against people that he personally doesn't like. And I think that's so, very telling. 
It also takes two seconds to realize from his username and profile picture that he's a little edgy motherfucker, and yep. those types tend to defend heinous shit just because, you know, internet cool points. 